G'day guys, today we're going to be installing the latest version of Arc OS to a fresh micro SD card. There are a few other alternative OS's available, but Arc OS is generally the most recommended. To do this you will need a micro SD card reader, I'm just using a cheap USB 2 one. You'll also need a spare micro SD card that you don't mind erasing, and the original micro SD card it came with so we can back up the boot files for safety. We will be doing all of this on a Windows 10 laptop. The first thing we want to do is back up all of our original micro SD card boot files. So I'm just inserting the original micro SD into my SD reader. I'll pop it in the laptop. If it asks you to format, you do not want to format. That's just because it's got hidden Linux partitions that Windows can't read uh, by default. So just make sure you click cancel. I will make a folder on my computer. This is on my computer, not on the flash drive. I'm just going to call it R36S Backup. Now we'll go over to the boot volume of our micro SD, and it's only about 128 megs, not very big. I'm just going to control A, control C, copy all the files into the folder that I created. So that's probably the most important step. You definitely want to have a backup of your DTB file especially if your R36S uses a non-standard screen. At this point, you can also go over to your Easy ROMs folder and back up all of the games that it comes with, so you don't have to worry about downloading them all again or getting your own copies. This is uh, entirely optional, but for most people, they're probably just going to want to use the existing ROMs for now, so make sure you back up all of your Easy ROMs. It is quite large, it's about 50 gig and it will take about an hour to copy over depending on the speed of your SD card reader. But just something to keep in mind. So after we've backed up all of our files off the original micro SD card, we do want to go to Google and download a few things. To start off, I'll just type in arc OS space R36, whoops, 36S. And we want the top link, which is AEOLUSUX, and it's the GitHub link. From here, we want to go all the way down to the screen checking tool, which is down here, just under the important section. We'll open that up. And we will click upload the DTB file, which we backed up. So for me, it was under downloads. And we want the long one. For me, it's the RK3326-RG351. MP-Linux.TTB. So open that up and click identify. And if you scroll down, you can see that it tells you your screen panel. So for me, this is panel four. Depending on which unit you have, they do mostly ship with different screens. Uh, I got lucky and I got the uh, the standard latest version, which is good. But just keep in mind, you are going to need to know that for later. So once you know your screen panel, we'll just go back to the main Git page. And then we want to download the correct version for our screen. So for me, I was using panel 4, so I would go Google Drive and download this file here. If you're using a different screen, hopefully uh, it's one of the either original or the panel 4. So download one of them. If it's a different screen panel, that's fine. Uh, you should be able to download just the latest version, so any one of these. Uh, either one will work. And then you want to go to the GitHub repo here under the important. And here's all the screen files, so we'll go new screens. And then you just want to copy and paste, you want to download all these files obviously, and then you just want to copy paste each of the screen panel files in to the ArcOS uh, micro SD you've created a bit later on, and try booting. And once you get the screen showing up on your R36S, then you can stop trying. But that's um, that's another way to do it. But hopefully you did identify your screen, it'll tell you which panel you need. So you just download the correct one. To download the files, just click on the root of the GitHub directory, so r36s-dtb, the blue link. And that'll take you back to the homepage, and then just go to code, and download zip, and that'll download all the screen types. They're not very big, they're a few meg each. In total, you're looking at maybe 15, 20 megs, so not very big download. So once you've downloaded the latest version of ArcOS, and if needed, your screen files, we also want to download a program called Rufus, which we'll be using to write the image to our flash drive. So it's Google, Rufus, top link, rufus.ie. 
scroll down and I will grab uh, P for the portable version, so 4.5P. Very small file, 1.4 meg. It'll fit on a floppy. Moving over to our downloads folder now, we can see we do have our portable version of Rufus, and I have already downloaded the ArcOS installation onto a flash drive just because I am running out of space on this little Chromebook. So with the ArcOS uh, installation file, you do need a program that can unzip XZ compression. So for me, I'm just using 7-zip. Uh, if you don't know, just go to Google, type in 7-zip, go to download, and download the correct version. So probably the top one, Windows 64-bit. So once you've got your compression program that you, that you want to use, for me, 7-zip again, just right click, and we'll go to extract to uh, ArcOS image. So once the compressed XZ file has finished extracting, we just double check, make sure it's in there. So we'll just safely remove our stock R36S card. We don't want to corrupt it just in case we need it again in the future. And I've just ejected it, take the SD card out. And I've just got a, a blank 32 gig micro SD here, which will be writing Arc OS 2. So let's put the SD card into the reader, pop it into the laptop. Go back to the downloads folder. We want to open the latest version of Rufus that we downloaded. I don't want to check for updates. Let's click no. Now make sure you collect, uh, you select the correct drive. So the top one's my flash drive, which I've got the files downloaded to, and the bottom one is my micro SD card. To make it easy, remove any external drives from your laptop that you don't need, and it'll just show up the micro SD card. But make sure you don't pick the wrong one because you will lose all the files on whatever you select. So if the SD card that you want to flash it to isn't blank, just keep in mind you will lose everything on there. So for me, it was D drive, and I want to go select. And I want to go down to my flash drive where I've stored the ArcOS image for you, probably be in the downloads. And that's it. All you have to do is click start. Click OK to the warnings. And it'll write. We'll come back once it's finished writing. All right, that's finished writing. We will close out of Rufus. And once again, I'll safely eject the micro SD card. And we can unplug it. And now we will just put this into our R36S console under SD1 slot. So the right hand side SD card reader on the R36 console. Don't put it in SD card slot two because it just won't work out of the box. Moving back over to our handheld now. This is our fresh copy of ArcOS. So again, just insert it, insert it into the right hand side SD card slot, not the left, and we'll power it on. The first boot will take a little bit just because it is expanding partitions. If you do have a black screen here, uh, I will go over how to fix that. But hopefully you've got the correct image for your screen type and it just works out the box like this one. And that's it, we're into ArcOS now. The whole process took around three minutes, which wasn't too long. You'll notice that there's no systems that you can play. That's because there's no ROMs on the fresh install yet. So we will just press start, go down to quit, go down to shut down system, and yes, that's how you safely shut down by the way. And I will eject the micro SD card. And we'll move back over to our Windows 10 laptop and put some ROMs on it. And also I'll show you how to fix the screen if your screen isn't working. Back on our Windows 10 device now, I'm just putting the fresh install of ArcOS back into the SD card reader and plug it into the laptop. Now, if you had a black screen throughout that, hopefully you did follow the steps I showed and you know which screen you do need. So if you do know the screen, uh, you would have obviously already downloaded all the screen files. You will copy the correct screen files, which is boot.ini, you will want to copy that. Uh, from the downloaded screen folder into here and overwrite the existing and also the RK3326 RG351MP-Linux.dtb file. They're the two files that you want to overwrite into this one here. Um, so that's all you need to do to fix your screen. If the screen still doesn't work, just try a different version of the screen. There's a bunch of different versions. It shouldn't take you too long to try each one, maybe 10 minutes max. 
Once you've copied it, safely eject the SD card, put it back into your R36S and turn it on. And if it works, don't have to, you don't have to do anything else. If it doesn't work, plug it back in, try a different screen folder. As for the ROMs, you'll see there's a easy ROMs partition with all your uh, ROM folders or system folders. So if you did back up the ROMs from the stock SD card, you could just control A, control C from the backup folder and just paste it into here, overriding everything if prompted. That's all you have to do. If you didn't make a ROM backup, you can just find the system that you want to put games onto, for example, NES, and you'd put all of your NES ROMs into here. That's as easy as that. So I'll go back over to our R36S with all our ROMs on it. Okay, I've copied all the ROMs back onto the fresh install of ArcOS, and it's back in the R36S, so I'll just power it back on. It's a different boot screen every time, which is pretty neat. And there's all of our systems back. So we'll just open one of them up. Do Mega Man X. And that's it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.